Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm going to teach you how to import and render GoPro Max 360 slash VR footage using Adobe Premiere Pro and GoPro Player. And yes, I totally did read off this Premiere Pro project file. So before you import anything into Premiere Pro, you first need to export it using the GoPro Player. So once the GoPro Player is opened, go to File and Batch Exporter. From here, you can choose your files or drag them over there. And since we have our files right here, we'll just go ahead and drag them into the batch exporter. Like so. So over here, you have the different settings that you can adjust. Uh, you can change the Kodak. You can change the resolution, change world lock, horizon level, or hardware encoding. I would recommend having hardware encoding enabled, as well as the current settings that are shown here. So we'll go ahead and make sure both files have the correct settings. And from there, just hit start. All right, so now that our 360 files have been rendered into .movs, we'll go ahead and open our Premiere Pro project. Then we'll import the footage. And one thing to keep in mind after you import your footage is to make sure your sequence settings match. So right here we have properties of the rendered videos. So make sure they match in your Premiere sequence settings. Take into account dimensions as well as frame rates. And then from here, you can go ahead and edit the video however you like. And once that's done, go ahead, go to File, Export, and then Media. Or just hit Control M on your keyboard. And so here are my recommended settings for exporting VR footage. Now keep in mind I'm using H.265 or HEVC. And the reason behind this is because with this codec, you can use hardware encoding. Whereas with H.264, because this is not in 4K, you can only use software encoding, which is a lot slower when it comes to rendering. And so from here, we have the frame rates and dimensions, same size as the project. In this case, I have it at 35 megabits per second, but you can change this uh, bit rate however you like. You can also adjust the quality depending on how fast you want it rendered and how high quality you want it. But one key element to make sure you have selected for VR video is to scroll to the very bottom of the video settings and select video is VR. And from there, make sure the frame layout is monoscopic and that your vertical field of view is 180. That way, once this is rendered and if you upload it to YouTube, it'll recognize because this is ticked that this is a VR video and it will render it accordingly. Because if you don't tick this, then this will be just as is and it won't be a proper VR slash 360 video. And from there, you can just hit export and it's just that easy. So yeah, that's how you can import and render GoPro Max 360 slash VR footage into Adobe Premiere Pro using the GoPro Player. If you like this tutorial, be sure to give a like and subscribe for more tutorials. And if you have a question about Adobe Premiere Pro or the GoPro Player, be sure to leave in the comments down below and your question could be the next tutorial. This is Andy, sign up for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.